If you're looking to launch another portable Bluetooth speaker into today's market, you're either some kind of nut. I'm Sam Beck and I'm the founder of BlueShift. Or a genius with a really great idea. We're designing open source speakers that run on capacitors instead of batteries. So they charge in five minutes, they'll play for six hours on a charge, and they're much more durable and sustainable. You heard that right. While most portable speakers take at least an hour to charge up, Sam Beck's Bluetooth speakers only take five minutes, and they can last just as long, if not longer, than the competition. Obviously, Sam is some kind of electrical engineering wizard, right? I was the ski manager at Next Adventure. Not exactly. Before that, I went to school. I started out doing physics, and I ended up getting an art degree. See, Beck is one of a new breed of entrepreneurs who started out with one idea. I was building these speakers that go on bikes, mm -hmm. and I was thinking that I was building speakers for commuter bike people. Um, it turned out that that market doesn't really exist. And then that idea eventually led to another. Boomboxes have been around since the 80s. It is basically just a boombox that's, it's sort of, the, the ethics of it are different. When I figured out that I could build a capacitor powered thing and no one was doing that, I'm trying to figure out why no one was doing it, that was a lot of the attraction. So if this is such a great idea, why isn't everyone doing it? Because they're too expensive and because batteries work fine for the purposes of most electronics manufacturers. Capacitors cost about 15 or 20 times as much as lithium batteries. So, you know, you multiply that by four or five, you're adding a huge amount of cost to your product. But there's also the engineering perspective, or maybe an intentional lack of it. Supercapacitors aren't new technology. They just haven't been used this way before. This is an unconventional design born from an unconventional speaker designer. I'm not a real engineer, but I'm a, I'm a fake engineer is my job title. It's kind of bad engineering. You know, I'm, I'm using something the wrong way. It's, it's a hack at best. But it works. In fact, it works really well. I thought there was no way I could get six hours of music out of five minutes of charging, but that's exactly what I got. Actually, six hours and 12 minutes at top volume. But this speaker bucks convention beyond its use of super capacitors. It looks different too, thanks to its bamboo construction, which is more than just a pretty kind of wood cabinet. Acoustically speaking, it's fairly inert. Plus, there's its ecological appeal. Everybody knows what bamboo means. You don't have to tell the story. Um, it, it sort of explains a lot of what we're doing in terms of sustainability without having to tell anyone. And then there's the audio related elements, like the driver and the amp. The speaker is the most efficient speaker that I'm aware of. It's a four inch driver, it's a banana, fiber cone. It's a lightweight cone, it's a super strong magnet, and between that it puts out a lot of sound with a very small amount of input power. It's, it's a class D amplifier, which is, again, it's about efficiency and sound quality. Great ideas need money to see the light of day, but Sam Beck isn't looking to start the next huge speaker company. In fact, every decision he makes is based around scalability. The whole electronics industry is built around we're going to start with 10,000 units for the first run and then we'll see how that goes and we'll build another 100,000. And I'm, you know, this is number three. Uh, I'm right now building a first run of 70 or 80 units and that is not the way that any of these things work. So finding ways, like I can't get an injection molded part because you have to build 100,000 of them for it to be cost effective. So like so many other successful startups have, Beck turned a crazy smart idea put together a proposal, and gave it to a crowdsourced funding platform. He put his unconventional idea and his backwards methods out on the internet for the world to either buy into or not. Well, they did. As of December 19th, 2013, Beck's campaign raised $36,292. That's 103% of his original goal. These speakers are going to be a reality now. So if you want to get in on the action, head to blueshiftpdx.com and get your pre-order in.